Another brick fan here with a Fantastic Beasts set. This is Grindelwald's Escape. This is set number 75951, was released in August 2018, has 132 pieces, two minifigures, and cost about $20 when it was released. This is a scene from the second Fantastic Beasts movie, where Grindelwald escapes because he was captured at the end of the first movie. We'll look at the minifigures here in just a moment, but let's start with the main build. This is a really nice carriage build. I like the, the way they have put it all together. I've always been a fan of these uh, wheels that have been around for quite some time. They do have, you know, this articulating front and back that kind of hold luggage and or the driver in here. Let's start with the Thestral. I think this is a really good representation. I like these new dual molded wings that have the black and clear and how they blend those together is extremely nice. I like the printing here with the kind of light blue and the white eye. I think that turned out really nicely there on his head. The black is really nice. Uh, then the kind of the spikes here or, or grooves done for the tail and on the neck add some nice detail. This figure is not poseable. His legs are, are, are solid and not, even the head is solid. The only pieces that move are the wings themselves and they are pretty tight in those clips so they will pose pretty well. I like how they use these teeth in the front to add a little bit more character to the wings themselves. So this is a really nice little figure Although it would have been nice if it would, you know, move a little bit more, or articulate a little bit better. The carriage itself is done quite nicely with the uh, lights here on every corner. I think it's uh, the color scheme is pretty dark, obviously. Uh, the brown adds a little bit of character, so the, you know, like a wooden base that the carriage itself is built on top of. There's a spot here in the front for a driver. The front wheels are on a pin, on a Technic pin, so they can move here almost 180 degrees. The carriage will turn pretty well. As far as the interior of the carriage, so they, this roof pops right off. And you can see inside there is a, a bench there. You can really only fit one minifigure in here because you only have a four wide compartment. So it's pretty difficult to get more than one. Although I suppose you could have one sitting and one standing might work. But you get the good impression of the, uh, of the build itself. These doors are each open on both sides. Along the back, there is some space for a like trunk or luggage can be mounted right here. And then there's this other detailing here. So it's done pretty nicely with this vegetation piece and done in black with a bar piece across. So it gives a nice detailing for the carriage itself. Let's take a look at the minifigures now. As I mentioned in the beginning, this set comes with two minifigures. This includes Gellert Grindelwald and Sephrina Pickery, who I believe is the president of the North American or America's uh, Wizard Council. I like the uh, this purple wand that comes with uh, Sephrina. I think it's uh, really nice. And then they each have one of these power pieces that can used as an action feature. You flick them, you can flick them and it will shoot away. So pretty nice uh, action feature. Let's go ahead and get all the accessories out of the way and take a close look at the minifigures themselves. Grindelwald is wearing a uh, very nice suit. Looks like it's a long coat. He's got a green vest underneath there and then you can also see a little bit of a belt buckle there underneath. So I think the printing is very well done down the legs that matches up quite well with the torso. I think they did a pretty good job getting that white of his collar around the on top of the black, which uh, isn't always 
done real well with Lego, but this seems to work out pretty well. Like the gray hair looks very nice. On Safrina, he's wearing a blue dress, it looks like, and I think, again, that's pretty well done. The uh, skin tone there on the torso looks uh, appropriate for the figure. She's wearing the hat, which covers up her hair, but they have some nice printing of little uh, blonde hair coming on either side of her face there, which I think uh, makes for a nice, a nice look. As we move around the figures, see so there's no side printing, although Safrina does have this new robe or dress piece that is smooth along the back and kind of angled a little bit. I like this better than the regular slope pieces they used to use uh, for these minifigures in robes or dresses. And you can see on the back of Grindelwald he has a little bit of more printing that details the back of his suit. No alternate face for Safrina, but Grindelwald does have a more neutral expression here for his alternate expression. Now that we looked at the two minifigures, let's go back and I'll give you my final thoughts on this set. My overall impression of this set is I like it. it I think the, uh, the carriage looks very good. I like the uh, creative use of some of these pieces, like the uh, black recolored black vegetation pieces are nice. The Thestral is, is very well done. Although, like I said, I would like to have seen you be able to uh, move the legs or articulate the figure a little bit more than you can. The wings are definitely a, a very nice touch in the dual molded clear and black. The minifigures are quite good, and I think uh, accurate to the movie itself. The little action feature with the shootable uh, trans blue energy pieces uh, are, is, is nice. Um, the carriage is really small as far as the interior goes, and be difficult to get more than one minifigure in there, but like I said, you might be able to seat one and have one standing. As far as the value for the set, it's 132 pieces for $20. A little a bit on the high side, although there are some larger pieces, including the Thestral, the wheels, and, and that kind of stuff, but probably something you'd want to get on sale if you could. Uh, it's probably a little bit high as far as the price per piece ratio. Hope you've enjoyed my thoughts on this set, and I'm going to be starting on another video. Until then, happy building! If you enjoyed this video, hit that like button. I've also put a bunch more Harry Potter content up on the screen here. If you enjoy my content, hit that subscribe button.